Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to take apart this barbecue igniter or barbecue lighter in order to get up the piezoelectric crystal inside. Here's how this one works. Uh, you press this, which is either safety or gas release, and then press the trigger and you get a flame on the other side. So what's actually happening? Well, when you press the trigger, uh, that's when you squeeze the piezo piezoelectric crystal and it gets banged and uh, the high voltage develops. Now this outer tube right here is what we call ground. In terms of the voltage, it's the ground connection and it's actually metal. Um, and you can see attached to this ground is this little piece of uh, this sharp point that's sticking out right here. Um, also inside you can see that there's this tube and that's where the gas comes out. But it's a metal tube and what happens is when you press the uh, trigger the piezoelectric crystal gets banged that creates a high voltage between this ground point right here and this metal tube and spark occurs. So you've got this gas that's coming out of the tube and that gas gets ignited by that spark. And that's how it works. So if you want to take advantage of the high voltage of your um, piezoelectric crystal, you want to find out what this outer ground piece is connected to, the wire, and the wire that's going to this inner metal tube. I haven't taken apart this particular brand before, but I've taken apart another one. This one looks easier because it actually has some screws right here. So it might be pretty simple. Now, um, in either case, you're going to have to, there's a seam that goes along the length here, all the way around, and you're going to have to take this apart at some point. Um, what's the trick is that this piece right here, and there's usually a piece right here, if you pry it off like that, you can see that that seam continues to underneath where that piece was. So make sure you pull off whatever this is. Okay, so let me just uh, take a screwdriver and open this up. There we go. See there's a yellow wire here and there's a tube. And I'm guessing, well I'm not guessing, I'm pretty sure. That yellow wire is the high voltage for the uh, sharp, the, for the tube that's inside here, the inner piece, the inner electrode. And this plastic tube right here is for the gas to flow. So, so far so good. The ground connection doesn't seem to really be any. This is just a metal tube and it's isolated from everything else in this case. Interesting. Usually there's two wires. Or there was in the last one I did. Okay, before going any further I want to uh, take off the gas tank here so it's safe. And, ah, that's easy. <laughs> this one's an easy one to take apart, guys. Okay, uh, I just want to check something. Since there's no ground connection, ah, okay. Um, let's see, I don't know if you can see it. You have to look right here between this copper and the case. Very tiny little spark there. And uh, okay, so I'm guessing, let me get my meter. Okay, so here's my meter. I'll put it for continuity testing. Just want to see. I, uh, my probes are a little flaky. Ah, okay. There's a metallic coating. This is clearly plastic from the weight of it, um, but there's a metallic coating all over this. So this is actually, the ground is actually you. When you grip this, you're the ground and you're electrically connected to this outer piece right here. And that's how it works. The, uh, let me show you the crystal right here. Uh, okay, I'll take off the trigger piece. Um, so that yellow wire that's going to the inner tube, uh, high voltage tube, goes into the back here. And I want to be careful here because I want to reassemble this. But there's the yellow wire going into this area right here. And what happens is the crystal here, I guess, is a cylindrical one. The yellow wire goes to one end, and then there's a copper cap on the other end of the crystal right here. And that, when you press the trigger, creates a little spark between this cap and this um, 
case which goes to here, which goes to that sharp point at the end. And that's your other uh, polarity for your high voltage. Yeah, closer view right here. You can actually see the crystal because this one's embedded inside the cylinder right here. Um, but basically there's the wire and here's a copper cap. So if you want to use this, what you do is you'd simply snip the wire and um, connect the wire to something and then solder a wire to this cap here. Don't use too much heat, but you can use enough. And uh, so you'd have one wire off this end, you'd have this wire, and that's your high voltage across those two wires. And you've still got the part here for making the high voltage. So you just press that. And when you do, you have the high voltage across the two ends. So let me just reassemble this. Without going too far. Ah, okay, I can get the spark. Let me focus this so you can see it well. Give my unsteady hand here. I'll just press the trigger. There we go. Aha. It's looking for the brand. I don't see anything. Ah, here we go. Everyday Essentials Chrome Lighter. Here's a crystal I took out of a uh, different piezoelectric nighter a while back. Um, Right here there are two connections that you can easily solder wires to. In fact, there were wires soldered to it, but they've since come, come off. Uh, this side and this side. So that's where you get your high voltage across is these two ends. What you do is you bang on the crystal, and they've had this nice banger uh, attached to this end. You bang on this, make sure this end is against something solid, and a high voltage develops across here and here. So that's just like the crystal that's in here, except this one is cylindrical in shape. Well, thanks for watching. You can now consider yourself dangerous. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, be sure and check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org. There you'll find more videos on my piezoelectric projects, including how to make and how to test for shell salt crystals, and even one on using rainwater to power a piezoelectric crystal taken from a gift card. Also, be sure to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a comment or questions below. Bye for now.